Hey everyone, it's Mr. Gene with Enjoy Beekeeping. I just want to say hello to all my fellow beekeepers out there. I have got something really cool that I want to share with you today. You see me standing standing in the picture here next to what I would call probably the world's perfect beehive. Um, it's it's a, a beehive that's actually been around for a long time, probably, uh, let's see, two, 200 years or more, but it might be new to you. Um, this beehive was developed by a French uh, beekeeper named Georges de Layens, and I recently obtained a book called Keeping Bees with a Smile, and it's written by a Russian beekeeper named Fedor Lazutin. And between Fedor and Georges de Layens, I, I think these two are probably geniuses in beekeeping. Uh, when it comes to uh, what they've revealed in this book, I highly recommend getting a copy of it. And you can get it from the website uh, horizontalbees.com. But let me just tell you a little bit about this hive that I think you're absolutely going to be blown away by. Um, if you've kept bees before, you already know that they're not easy. Keeping bees is probably one of the most difficult things um, you can do. It's, it's not an easy hobby. But here's what's in interesting about bees. They really don't need our help. Um, when you leave them alone, they actually do pretty good. You sometimes will... Um, see uh, stories about bees being found in the walls of people's houses. In fact, I've got a story here about um, bees that were found in a wall, and they were living there for a long time. But, you know, they can live in walls, and they can live in trees. You know, that's their natural environment in a tree. And this beehive is basically designed to mimic what bees would ideally find by living in a tree. You can either download the plans free on horizontalhive.com, but keep in mind, um, you may have to modify it, and that's exactly what I had to do. When I read the book, um, Fedor, uh, the beekeeper that, that wrote this book, he had some concluding comments uh, about making modifications to this particular lay-in style hive. Now, this is before he died. I don't know if he actually went ahead and built the hive with these modifications or not, I just figured, you know, I read the book and, and they sounded really good and I applied them to the locale. So we live here in Georgia and I wanted to apply it to the climate that we live in and the kind of bees that are local to our area. But can you imagine, first off, keeping bees naturally without having to interfere in their lives? You can build uh, or buy one of these maintenance-free hives that mimic how bees live in nature. And I think that's one of the coolest things about this hive. Um, because of the way this hive is built, you can keep your colonies healthy and strong without using any kind of drugs uh, or any kind of you know gimmicky stuff that you have to do with um, keeping bees if you're trying to do it the commercial way. Um, you'll be able to help your bees over winter successfully even in the harshest climate now fedor the russian beekeeper that i you know is the author of this book um, he kept these bees in northern russia where the winters are absolutely bone chilling uh, it's sub-zero temperatures and these bees overwinter very successfully he's even had years where he's had zero losses now that is staggering because average is probably about mm, 25 30 percent Okay, so if that gives you an idea, uh, he didn't always get zero uh, losses, but on occasion he would get zero, and that is outstanding. Um, you'll be able to produce natural honey, and you don't have to worry about robbing your bees using this style of a hive management system. It is absolutely mind-blowing. I'm recommending that anyone who's even considering getting started in beekeeping to do it this way. Start here. Don't try to copy the commercial beekeeping system. If you get a beekeeping catalog in the mail, try not to even look at it. Throw it away. <laughs> You're not going to need any of what they're selling. You might need a hive tool. You might need a smoker and a veil. You're really not going to need much more than that, friends, in order to get started. 
And I've, like I say, I've been doing this for about 12 years, give or take. And I've studied every kind of beehive that I could get my hands on. I've built them. I've raised the bees in my apiary using top bar hives. I've used the Warre hives. I've used the Langstroth hives. Um, and now this one is hands down the best hive I have ever seen before. So I want to recommend to you this book, uh, Keeping Bees with a Smile. And if you'd like to, um, I'm offering uh, these hives to all my beekeeping customers. I'm building them by request uh, between now and April 30th. So if you'd like to get your hands on one where you can actually just park this hive in your bee yard or in your backyard and only have to do two inspections a year, this is the hive for you. I can't stress enough. Now, if you want more information, I'm going to have a longer video all about this that, that you can watch. It's about 10 or 15 minutes long. But I'm trying to give you the short version of all this. Friends, you need one of these hives in your backyard. It is the best hive you'll ever use. So feel free to just call, text, or email me anytime. 770 231 3071 or email me at enjoybeekeeping at gmail.com. Thanks, friends.